In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Neo Geo CD games up and running on a Nintendo Wii U using RetroArch. Neo Geo stuff isn't something I was into back when it was actually around and new, but in the last few years I've really been enjoying exploring it and learning more about it and just seeing what it had available. One such system is the Neo Geo CD, and while I don't own the actual hardware, I do own one game for it, and thanks to emulation, I can play that game on basically anything I want to. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Neo Geo CD games on a Nintendo Wii U, so let's dive in. So to get started with Neo Geo CD emulation, you need Neo Geo CD games. So again, I have one Neo Geo CD game, and that is Metal Slug 2, and I dumped this from my physical disc using my computer's optical drive. So if you have a collection of Neo CD games, you can do the same. It's really easy. You just get image burn, and uh, you rip them. It's nice. Alternatively, you can search the shady parts of the internet and uh, try to download them, but no download links will be provided for any games because that is illegal, so don't ask. Don't do it. I'm not going to provide you anything. Requests will be deleted. But once you have sourced your Neo Geo CD games, we need to put them onto our Wii U SD card. So I have my SD card right here. There we go. And I made a folder named RetroArch ROMs that I'm storing all the games that I'm using within RetroArch. So I'm just going to open that up and put my Neo Geo CD games in there with my Game Boy Advance and SNES games. Once you have your games placed, go back to the root of your Wii U SD card, because we're going to need this again in just a second. The next thing we're going to need for our Neo Geo CD emulation is a Neo Geo CD BIOS, and thankfully, we don't have to dump this from our original consoles. There is the Universe BIOS for Neo Geo systems, and it is available for free on the internet at the Universe BIOS homepage. So, link will be in the description below, but basically, you go to the download section, and download the version 3.3 for Neo Geo CD. Once that download is complete, we need to get the Universe BIOS extracted. So this one's just in zip format, so it should be, uh, shouldn't matter what program you're using, just get it extracted. But once you have your Universe BIOS extracted, there is a little bit of setup we need to do to get it to work for our Neo Geo CD games within RetroArch. So I have the Universe BIOS CD.ROM right here. And this is named correctly as is. When you download it, it's named exactly as it needs to be for emulation. We just have to do one thing with it. We need to make a folder. And we need to name this folder Neo CD. Just all lowercase, no spaces, Neo CD. And now we're going to drag our Universe BIOS file into the Neo CD folder. From here, we're going to open back up our Wii USD card. Go into the RetroArch folder. Go up to the Chorus folder, open it, and there is a System folder right here, so open that up. Now we're going to drop our Neo CD folder into our System folder. And now our Neo Geo CD BIOS file is placed and ready to go. So once you have your games and the BIOS file placed, we can close out of our Wii USD card, take it out of our computer, and put it back into our Wii U and get it turned on. Now, just as a quick reminder, this guide is a continuation of my original Wii U RetroArch install video, so please refer back to that video for RetroArch installation, channel forwarder installation, and initial settings. But now that we got that out of the way, once you have your SD card placed back into your Wii U, get booted into RetroArch either through the homebrew launcher or a RetroArch forwarder channel. Once RetroArch is loaded, we're free to begin loading up our Neo Geo CD games. So to do this, go to Load Core, press up on your D-pad, and go up to Neo Geo CD, and press A. And once the core is loaded, we can go down to Load Content, go to our SD card, find our RetroArch game folder, and find our Neo Geo CD games. And then for Neo Geo CD games, you need to load up Q files. And when you press A on it, it's going to ask you for a core, so just tell it current core Neo Geo CD. And it should load up the Universe BIOS for you. There's a little bit of setup we need to do for the Universe BIOS before we can play games, but I'll go over that in just a second. Because I hate this method of loading games, so I'm going to show you how to make a game playlist real quick. So going back out to the main menu here, we could go down to the Import Content tab, tell it to do a manual scan, 
Content Directory, find your Neo Geo CD games folder. So mine's in RetroArch ROMs, Neo Geo CD games. Scan this directory. Now for system name, press right on your D-pad to go down to SNK and find Neo Geo CD. And now default core, same thing, right on your D-pad to find SNK and find Neo Geo CD. Now with Neo Geo CD games, they are in bin Q format, so we don't want a playlist entry for every bin file that a game might have. So we're going to go into file extension and we're going to type in Q to only find the Q files. And once you type it in, press start. Now make sure scan recursively is on because your games are likely going to be in subfolders and do not have these zipped. They will not work zipped, so make sure they're not zipped. But anyway, once you have the settings set, you hit start scan. And now you should have a nice new Neo Geo CD playlist entry down here. So now we can go into our playlist, press A on our Neo Geo CD games, and press A again to run them. And there we go, Neo Geo CD emulation up and running on a Nintendo Wii U. Now like I said, when you first load up the Universe BIOS, there are some settings you need to change to get it to work right, so it shouldn't load directly into the game unless you're kinda lucky. Normally you'll end up in a menu that looks just like this, and that is fine. So what you need to do here is press uh, minus slash select on your gamepad and we need to change the system type from top loader to cdz that will allow our games to actually start running you could also choose your region here so i am in the us so i prefer us stuff even though i know it's censored most people will probably prefer to have it on japan so it's not censored but you know i'm just gonna stick it on us but once you have these set press y on your gamepad and your emulation should restart and your game should automatically boot up And there it is, my one and only Neo Geo CD game Metal Slug 2 is now playable on a Nintendo Wii U. So much fun. So for those of you looking to get Neo Geo CD games up and running on your Nintendo Wii U, that is the basic process. It's just get the Universe BIOS for free from the internet, get your Neo Geo CD games backed up, and uh, get the folders placed, the Universe BIOS set up, and you are good to go. It's not the most complicated of systems to get set up, but I mean, it's a little bit more work than anything else we've covered on Wii U so far, so it's a lot of fun. I really like the Neo Geo CD. It's a really interesting system to me. It kind of has not great performance on certain things compared to the uh, cartridge-based Neo Geo systems, but I don't know. I think it's really cool. And, you know, it works pretty well for Wii U. Now, just a quick note on multiplayer, I still haven't been able to get multiple controllers to work on the Wii U version of RetroArch in this current version, so unfortunately at this time, multiplayer just is not supported, from the looks of it. But let's go ahead and cover some of the more advanced core options available within Neo CD. There really aren't a whole lot, so this is going to go really quick. So pressing our home button on our Wii U gamepad, we get into our RetroArch quick menu, and from here we can scroll down to options. Press A to enter this menu, and our first option available is a console region switch. By default, it is on Japan. This really doesn't matter because you set this in the universe BIOS, so it really doesn't matter what you have this set to, so I just leave it on Japan. Now, if you happen to have multiple Neo Geo BIOS uh, files in your system folder, you can actually select them through this menu here. Next is the CD speed hack. I recommend leaving this on. It makes it so games load really fast. And then skip CD loading. It basically eliminates any load times. So really nice to have these, especially on Neo Geo CD. Neo Geo CD was notorious for being super slow. And now the last option is per game saves. So if you have a lot of Neo Geo CD games, I definitely recommend turning this on. That way it creates a save file for each individual Neo Geo CD game instead of it all sharing the same SRAM. That way you don't have to worry about running out of space. But that is really it as far as the options are concerned. Not a whole lot you need to mess with here. 
But once you have your settings saved as you like, just go down to overrides and save them as a core override just to make sure that these are the settings that will greet you every time you load up a Neo Geo CD game. Now, typically in this part of the video, I'd cover shader setup, but I'm going to be doing a dedicated Wii U shader video sometime in the future, so stay tuned for that and to see what shaders will will not work with uh, Wii U. But that's going to do it as far as Neo Geo CD emulation is concerned. Get your games, get the universe BIOS, get them placed into your Wii U SD card, and enjoy your library of Neo Geo CD games on your Nintendo Wii U. I gotta say, it's really a lot of fun. But as always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section below and I will do my best to try to help you out. But now if you could all do me a huge favor and be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't already, please hit that sub button so you can see when new videos just like this go live. It goes a long way to helping out the channel and I am most grateful to all of you for that. If you're feeling especially generous and want to help the channel grow even further, you can always check out that join button here on YouTube or check out my Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It goes a long way to keeping the channel running and expanding. As always, I'm just grateful for your consideration and for all my current champions, thank you so much for keeping this place running. But that's going to do it for this one, so until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome and we will see you all back next video.